Ever wondered why durian is often referred to as the king of fruits? Well, let's dive into the world of durian farming to uncover the secrets behind its royal status. Firstly, let's talk about its global popularity. This thorny, pungent fruit is celebrated and cherished in many parts of the world, particularly in Southeast Asia. It's a staple in countries like Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia, but its fame doesn't stop there. It's also a prized delicacy in China, which is the world's largest importer of durian. The demand for this fruit is so high, it has driven extensive farming and plantation efforts across these regions. Now, what makes durian so unique? Its characteristics are unlike any other fruit. It has a hard, spiky exterior, while the inside is soft, creamy, and custard-like. The taste? It's a mix of sweet and savory, a combination that has earned it a reputation of being a love-it-or-hate-it kind of fruit. But for those who love it, it's a culinary experience like no other. Then there's the scent. Ah, the scent. It's powerful, intense, and unmistakable, often described as a mix of sweet, rotten, and savory smells. It's this very scent that has led to durian being banned in some public places. But for durian enthusiasts, it's a scent that signals the promise of a delicious treat. But why is it called the king of tropical fruits? Well, beyond its distinctive taste and smell, it's also because of its nutritional value. Packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, durian is a powerhouse of nutrients. It's high in fiber, vitamin C, and healthy fats, making it a fruit that's as good for you as it is unique. The durian's origin and history add to its regal status. It's believed to have originated in Borneo and Sumatra, and its cultivation dates back hundreds of years. Over the centuries, it's been celebrated in art, literature, and even in festivals dedicated to its honor. In conclusion, the durian's unique characteristics, nutritional value, and rich history all contribute to its royal status. But we're just scratching the surface here. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the life cycle of this fascinating fruit. The journey of a durian from seed to fruit is a captivating one. Let's embark on this journey together. Our journey begins with the durian seed. These seeds are typically large, hefty, and encased within the durian fruit itself. Once planted, they take about a week to germinate and sprout into a seedling. As the seedling grows, it develops into a young durian tree, characterized by its broad, glossy leaves and a sturdy, upright growth habit. Fast forward to about five to ten years, and the durian tree reaches maturity. This is when we witness the magical transformation from foliage to flowers. The durian tree's flowers are unique. They're large, fragrant, and bloom at night. These nocturnal blossoms are pollinated by bats and nocturnal insects, setting the stage for the fruiting phase. Now let's talk about the fruit itself. The durian fruit, often referred to as the king of tropical fruit, is distinct with its spiky exterior and strong aroma. The fruit takes about three to four months to develop from a tiny bud to a full-sized durian. Inside each fruit are several chambers, each containing a durian seed encased in a creamy custard-like pulp. This pulp is what durian enthusiasts crave for its unique taste and texture. In terms of ecology, the durian tree is a tropical species, thriving in warm climates with high humidity. It prefers well-drained soils and ample sunlight. Interestingly, the durian tree is a masting species, meaning it bears fruit in irregular large-scale events that can span several years. This unique ecological adaptation ensures the survival of the durian tree in its native tropical forests, making it a fascinating subject of study. Coming up next, we'll explore modern durian farming and plantation techniques. Modern farming techniques have revolutionized the way we grow durians. Let's understand how. The crux of modern durian farming lies in the nursery, where the initial stage of growth happens. Here, durian seeds are carefully nurtured into seedlings, ready to be transplanted into the field. It's a meticulous process that requires close monitoring to ensure the seedlings develop into healthy durian trees. Next, we have grafting. This technique involves attaching a scion, or the upper part of one plant, to the root system of another. In the case of durian trees, this method is often used to propagate specific varieties such as the coveted Musang King or Mai Sang Wang. Let's move on to the irrigation system. Modern durian plantations often use drip irrigation. This method ensures that water is delivered directly to the root zone of the plants, optimizing water usage and ensuring the trees get the moisture they need. Planting methods also play a crucial role. With the use of GPS technology, farmers can now precisely space durian trees for optimal growth. 
This ensures each tree gets enough sunlight and nutrients crucial for producing high-quality fruit. Fertilizer programs and fertigation, which is the injection of fertilizers through the irrigation system, are other key components. These help provide the durian trees with necessary nutrients, promoting healthy growth and high yields. Weed control is equally important. Weeds compete with durian trees for nutrients, light, and water. Modern farming employs both chemical and mechanical methods to manage weeds effectively. Last but not least, pruning. This involves removing specific branches or stems to improve the tree's structure, promote growth, and increase fruit yields. It's an art as much as it is a science, requiring knowledge and skill to do correctly. Up next, we'll look into the global trade of durians and why China is the world's largest importer of durians. Did you know that China is the world's largest importer of durians? Let's explore the global durian market and China's role in it. A global craving for the king of tropical fruits has created an extensive trade network. Leading the pack and exporting these spiky delicacies are Thailand and Malaysia, known for their vast durian plantations. But the demand for this fruit is not evenly distributed. There's one nation that stands out in terms of its appetite for durians, China. China's love for durians is unparalleled. It's fascinating to see this nation, with its diverse culinary landscape, develop a strong affinity for this unique fruit. This love affair has positioned China as the world's largest durian importer with millions of tons of durians crossing its borders each year. But what's driving this demand? One could say it's the durian's unique taste, a blend of sweet and savory, that has been compared to a rich custard. Others might point to its nutritional benefits as durians are packed with vitamins and minerals. But perhaps the most significant factor is the cultural significance of durians in China, where they are often seen as a symbol of luxury and status. The durian price list is another intriguing aspect of this trade. Prices can vary greatly depending on the variety with the Musang King durian often commanding the highest price. Factors such as scarcity, quality, and seasonality also play a role in determining the price. It's not uncommon for a single Musang King durian to sell for hundreds of dollars during peak season. This high demand and potential for profit have spurred growth in durian farming, particularly in Thailand and Malaysia. These countries have ramped up their production efforts to meet China's insatiable appetite for this unique fruit. In this global dance of supply and demand, the durian stands at center stage. Its unique flavor profile, cultural significance, and the high prices it can command have created a robust global market with China leading the charge in consumption. Coming up, we'll explore the final stages of durian farming from harvesting to export. The journey of a durian doesn't end with harvesting. Let's discover the final stages of durian farming. Harvesting durians is a delicate process that requires skill and precision. Durians are not plucked from the trees like other fruits. Instead, they are allowed to fall naturally when they are ripe. Farmers often lay nets or soft structures under the trees to catch the falling durians and prevent them from splitting open upon impact. This method ensures that the durians are at their peak of ripeness, offering the best taste and texture. Once harvested, the durians undergo a stringent sorting process. They are divided based on their quality, size, and ripeness. The highest quality durians are often reserved for export while the rest are sold locally or used in the manufacturing of durian-based products. To prepare durians for export, they must first be cleaned and frozen. Durians are notorious for their strong, pungent smell, which can be a turnoff for many. Freezing helps to subdue this smell, making them more palatable for those not accustomed to it. The freezing process also helps to preserve the freshness and quality of the durians during transportation. After freezing, the durians are carefully packed for export. They are usually placed in vacuum-sealed packages to further contain the smell and maintain the quality of the fruit. These packages are then placed in sturdy boxes or crates for shipping. Technology plays a significant role in the modern durian farming industry. From automated irrigation systems that ensure the durians receive the right amount of water, to drones used for monitoring the health and growth of the durian trees, technology has made durian farming more efficient and productive. The use of technology extends to the processing and exporting stages as well. Advanced machinery is used for cleaning, freezing, and packaging the durians, ensuring the process is quick and hygienic. Furthermore, technology has also made it easier to track and manage the export of durians, 
ensuring they reach their destinations in prime condition. So that's a wrap on the journey of durians from seed to table. Now you know why durians are indeed the king of fruits. <laughs>